Legends. 5'8", freshman number 10, Edison Huber. 6'1", and a freshman number 14, Zachary Benning. 6'2", sophomore number 22, Aiden Conley. 5'5", freshman number 24, Jake Miller. And a 5'9", sophomore number 30, Austin Bowen. The Trojans are coached by Ben Gudis. And now your Comet JV starters. First up, 5'9", the sophomore number 4, Talon Zetter. A 6-foot sophomore number 11, Caleb Stinson. A 5'9", junior number 20, Evan Howard. A 6'2", junior number 23, Jackson Rinchler. And a 5'11", junior number 33, Connor Summers. The comments are coached by Chip Woodhouse. Officials for tonight's contest are Travis Penix and Jerry Chisholm. And just a reminder to our parents for safety concerns, we ask that all children sit with their parents. Children are not permitted to run around the gym, through the hallways, or in the elementary gym during the game. Thank you.
check back in for the comments.
was shot by 44, Blake Hendris. His first team third, two shots.
Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast coming to you live from Caston High School, where the Caston Comets are hosting the West Central Trojans. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Pete Duvall. How are you doing today, Pete? Doing great. Uh, once again, another great day for some Hoosier hysteria. Absolutely. And uh, we've got the uh, clock winding down. We'll have the national anthem. We'll get some uh, starting lineups and some basketball underway here momentarily. At this time, we would like to have everyone rise, remove your hats, and join us as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. This is the fourth uh, high school basketball game being played in this gym today, Pete. Uh, we had the JV and Varsity Lady Comets uh, played the earlier today, faced off against, um, I'll think of it here in a second, Tri-County. Uh, both teams were victorious. Uh, and then the JV Comets just uh, finished up with a 40-point victory over the JV Trojans. Um, John Harrell is predicting a 40-point spread in this game as well, Pete. Yeah, um, and as we've seen all throughout the year so far, all throughout the years, John Harrell's been pretty pretty accurate on those predictions. Frighteningly so, as a matter of fact. I'd, I'd still like to know what kind of crystal ball they're using and see about picking one of those up, looking up some lottery, taking numbers maybe, you know, helping farmers out with, uh, you know, specific planting dates around here. Well, of course. Especially here in Indiana, where who knows what the weather might be like. Correct. And Pete, Sam Chuck that uh. Sam chucked that t-shirt up into the crowd. I think he got to the very top row. I don't know. It's so dark in here. I couldn't quite see where it ended up going. Looks like maybe he got it all the way up to his mom over there, which is well, that, 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 that top sense. row. Right, Sam Smith commanding that opening tip off. Comets with first possession here. Rudisil pass the spin. Back to Rudisil, far side. He drives baseline. Banker's no good. Gets his rebound and puts it back for two. He got the shooter's roll there as the Comets come out in a very hard press. Passion trying to pick the ball there from uh, Bryce Naninga. 
bounces out off of Passion's shoe. Trojans maintaining. No, they're going to call it out off of the Trojans. Looks like they're going to say Jake Passion knocked it off of uh, Naninga. Naninga? I'm going to go with Naninga. Until I'm corrected otherwise. Joey Spin taking advantage of the pick set by Sam Smith. Jumper's just a little too hard. Good trap there. Good ball handling and, and uh, basketball IQ there by Carter Lewark getting that passed off. Aiden White now looking for the looking for the play here. Pass back to Lewark on the far side. Two-man trap down underneath. He's gonna pass it back to White who gets the ball stripped. Joey Spin taking it all the way down. That's good for two. Thomas keeping that hard press up. White driving hard, stops at the near elbow. Pass down to the post is no good. Almost got tipped in by one of the Comets. Long two there for Christian Hughes. Spin to Rudisol into the paint. Back outside, Zyder for three off the mark. Comets getting the rebound back. Joey will put it in for two more from the paint. And with that, West Central will use their first time out. I've got to say, though, it's not its not the score differential that we thought we might see. But there again, this is kind of a high-scoring first quarter so far. We're less than two minutes into the game and already have eight points on the board between the two teams. Both teams playing really aggressive, uh, fighting for every point they've gotten so far. Comets with a couple more turnovers against the Trojans, and uh, that's what's putting them in the lead right now. Yeah, they've been very effective at forcing those turnovers. Uh, something that the girls did very well last night and really they were able to use that to stack up quite a long advantage as well. All right, Bryce Naninga now, two-man trap on sideline, passes off to Aiden White. White gets across the timeline. Comet set up in a, not sure if we're man or we're two, three zone here yet. We're seeing a lot of motion if this is a zone. I think they're going to be run. I think the Comets are running a man here. Ball in the hands of Hughes over to number four, Bladen Huber. Huber at the top of the key. Pass over to Naninga. Naninga in and back out to White. White showing off some good ball handling there. But it goes off of Jake Passion's toes and then out of bounds. Passion couldn't quite grab it before it went out of bounds there. Slipped right through his hands and onto the line. Ball inbounded to Aiden Wynde in the backcourt. White into the paint, gets his pocket picked by Sam Smith. Smith made to go coast to coast, and got fouled. Foul there is on number 30, Carter Lewark. His first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. That said, he did break the drive, prevented, well, what just happened there. Sam Smith going up, putting it in for two. Ref having a conversation there with Bladen Huber. I'm not sure what that was about. Not sure if Huber may have been injured there a little bit and the uh, ref was checking on him or maybe he said something. Oh no, Naninga getting trapped again, passed off to uh, Huber. And uh, Carter Lewark laying it in for two. Fast ball movement here by the Comets. Uh, Zyder popped up that three, wasn't really set for it, didn't get the drop and got a, wow. Wiener off the glass for Huber, and he got fouled. Foul there is on Sam Smith, his first, team first. Huber at the line for the end one attempt.
Can't quite get it to fall. Zyder snagging that rebound like out of the hands of Naninga. Passion to spin. Spin drives into the paint, jumper from the paint, and it's good. Trojans really breaking that press of the Comets. Jake Passion, stop and go jumper there, good for two. Spin facing off against Aiden White. White over to Huber. Huber into the corner to Naninga. Back out to Huber. Head fake at the three point line. Passes up to the center circle. Aiden White in the center circle. Looking to set the play. Pass off to Christian Hughes. Back to White at the volleyball line. 3.48 to play in this first quarter. Pass outside. Comet's really doing a great job of not leaving a shooter open. And then tipping the pass. Rudisil. Gets the and one. Fell on uh, Aiden White. That's White's first, team second. Number 22, Kane Chenglob, and number 12, Colby Pugh in for the Comets. Bryce Rudis will get in three the hard way. Hard inbound swatted away there by uh, Comets. Zyder draining a three-pointer there. Comets now have extended their lead to 12 points with three minutes to go here in the first. Shane Lobb trapping Bladen Huber. Pass down to the post is good though. Shot attempt by uh, Bryce Naninga, no good. Zyder, head fake. Rudisil for three, drains it. 21 to six. Less than three minutes ago in the first quarter. Comets lead. A little floater pass over there to Bryce Naninga. He loses control of the ball. He's going to turtle up on the ground. And uh, did we call a timeout Looks or did we like call a jump ball? They're going to get the timeout off here. All right, 30 second timeout. West Central using their second timeout here today, in this case, to uh, save possession. I mean,. Pete, I'm not sure that was the right play there. I mean, maybe, maybe he's got a strategy he wants to talk, something he wants to work on. Uh, but if it was just for possession, the arrow goes to the Trojans anyway. I think he was better off to leave that a jump ball, take it out and reset. Yeah, uh, calling a timeout there when a uh, jump ball would have kept you the ball, that could come back later on. And if this game stays any close uh, in the fourth quarter, this could haunt, that could haunt the uh, West Central Trojans. Absolutely. Number five, Gerardo Salazar. Salazar. And for the Trojans. As long as it's not Gerardo. I honestly don't know. Aiden White getting the pass tipped away. Joey Spin passes it off down to Talon Zyder, who gets uh, stuffed on the layup attempt. Or excuse me, Talon Zyder. Cade Zyder. Wrong Zyder. Zyder for three, it's good. The speed with which Cade can get on the line and just snap up a three, hand in the face, is amazing, Pete. Good ball movement here by the Trojans to break the press. Carter Lewark putting two more on the board for him. Thomas really playing a fast, fast offense here, trying to score quickly. Moving the ball across half court really fast. I'm definitely interested to uh, talk to Coach Davis here at, when we wrap up at the end of the night. I want, I'm curious as if this is something that they are working on across the board, this fast offense, or if uh, it was something just for tonight. Three-pointer for Kobe Pugh off the mark. Bryce Rudisil gets the rebound and puts it in.
Pass a little long there. Number 21, Christian Hughes, couldn't quite handle it. This, uh, excuse me, this pressure that the Comets are putting on this inbound is really, really tripping up the uh, West, these West Central guys. Spin, taking advantage of the pick. Passion for three, and it's good. And Passion's going to pick up a foul here as he tried to... Uh, Tried to block Bladen Huber. That's Passion's first team second. Salazar with the ball out of bounds. Lobs it way across the court to uh, Christian Hughes. Really had to make a long, a long lob pass there. Uh, once again, because of Kane Shane Lobs, long arms. They're doing a lot of really high, really long passes. Uh, they are getting some good effect from that. Salazar for three, off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Spin, crossover, outside to Pew. Pew for three, drains it. Comets on fire from outside so far tonight. Keeping up that hard full court pressure. 34 seconds left here in the first. Aiden White. Looking for the play. I'm, I'm sure that uh, West Central is probably going to try for the last shot here in this quarter. White takes a three. It's off the mark. Comments with that rebound. 14 seconds. Oh, pass goes a little bit wild. Looks like uh, one of the West Central Trojans tipped that ball out. Nah, maybe not. We've got Cade Zider coming back in for the comments. Dump down to the post is good for two. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just waiting for the guys to take the floor again. At the end of one, comments up by 22 with a 32 to 10 advantage. Uh, Comets using zero timeouts in that first quarter. And uh, West Central going through two of theirs. Both teams playing it really clean on the fouls. Only two fouls from each team. Four fouls in total. So far it's been really good basketball despite the large uh, difference in the score. Yeah, yeah. It kind of belies the amount of action we've seen here tonight. Zyder with a couple of fakes, two-man trap. Comets really keeping this pressure up on this defense. For, uh, and, and this Comets defense is forcing some very sloppy passes. Um, they forced six turnovers in the first quarter. Shot attempt by Aiden White off the mark. Follow up by Naninga is also off the mark. And Carter Lewark picking up his second foul. Team third. Team third for the Trojans. Rudisil, pass near side to Zyder, down to the post to Kane Shanelob, who puts two on the board. Comets dropping the pressure back just a little bit now, going in here into the second. Huber to Naninga. Naninga drives in far side, dishes it back outside. Baseline drive. Shot no good for Carter Lewark. Thomas with that rebound. Cade Zider. Pass off to Kane Shanelob. Shanelob to Passion. Nearly got that pocket picked. Pass down into the paint. Sam Smith can't quite keep a hold of it. He tips it out to Cade Zider, who gives it to Jake Passion, who drives and gets swatted. That was a big block. Comments, Comets do maintain possession. Put back by Sam Smith, no good. And then he gets fouled on the put back to the put back. Foul here on number 11, Bryce Naninga. 
his first team fourth. Sam now going two from the line. First shot's good. Joey Spin checks back in for the comments. He'll give Keen Shanlob a break. <coughs> Sam got his two points. Just did it the hard way. Comments now dropping the pressure back to the timeline. West Central, though, so used to playing against the pressure that they uh, left all five guys down. Aiden White just completely losing control of that dribble. Joey spins, snags, and goes coast to coast. White near side pass to Naninga. Naninga into the paint to Huber. Huber now at top of the key, drives back into the paint. Pass off to uh, Christian Hughes. Naninga three pointer, in and out. Common rebound. Spin jump stop into the paint outside to Passion puts it up for three and it's good. Good ball movement by the, there by the Comets to get that open look and. Uh, 41 to 10, 31 point lead here for the Comets with only three minutes gone in the second quarter. Pass down to Huber inside the arc. He'll kick it into the paint. And we're gonna have a foul here though as Bryce Naninga was attempting a drive. Foul on Sam Smith. He picks up his second, team third. Number 33, Caleb Stenson, and number 12, Colby Pugh in for the Comets. Deep inbound to Bryce Naninga. He'll drive in towards the paint, gets fouled on the floor. I think that foul's gonna be on Caleb Stenson. Yeah, Stenson playing a hard defense there, had his hands all over him as he was driving. Well, he said, Uh, he's, it says number three. I guess that was Joey Spin, his first. Team fourth. Huber, th he thought he was going to pop it up, and Bryce Rudisel was right there. Drives it into the paint, puts it in for two. Rudisel, fast break through the open lane, lays it in for two. Wow, that was a wide open lane. Yeah, and I'm... You know, West Central's been pretty good so far about closing off closing off those lanes if they're open, but had it left it wide open. That dish down, no good. Zyder wide open for three, drops it. Half the second quarter to play, comments up by 34. Ball to the center circle, over a far side pass to Lewart. He drives baseline and gets fouled. Foul there is on number 33, Caleb Stinson. His first, team fifth. And we're sending number 30, Carter Lewark, to the line for two. You know, I think uh, Caleb being a normal JV player, getting this uh, varsity playing time this early on, maybe playing a little nervous. Um, playing a little handsy and uh, just got that foul there. Kane Shainlam enters for him. Carter Lewart picking up both of those free throws. Cade Zider wide open for a near side three and he drains it. I'm telling you what. West Central's got to learn to cover him up or they're going to keep paying with blood. Ball into Huber in the paint. Jumper off the rim. Swatted out of bounds by uh, Bryce Naninga. Comets using their first timeout of the evening. 
Coach Davis is very animated in there in spite of the lead. I, but that's the thing. It's really easy to say, oh, there's this huge lead, just do whatever. But fundamentals are still fundamentals. And uh, practice makes permanent. Uh, we like to say practice makes perfect, and that's only true if you're practicing perfectly. Because whatever you do repetitively is what you're going to keep doing. And so if the guys say, oh, we're up, we can, we can just start playing street ball, that's going to be kind of how they train themselves. And then when you're in a game where the fundamentals really matter, they're not there. So um, I can definitely see a good reason for intensity in the huddle in spite of an advantage like what we're seeing on the, on the board. Comments up by 35 with 3.41 to go in the second quarter. And uh, West Central is going to have to start making something happen here. They just can't keep trading punches or else they'll have that running clock in the second half. And Cade Zider with another three. Aiden White across midcourt. At the volleyball line. Comets extending that defense out. Drive no good down to the post. And two points from Christian Hughes. Well, and Pete, it's not even just that they're trading punches. They're trading twos for threes. And Joey with a little head fake drives into the paint. And he'll put two on the board and get fouled on the way. Never ceases to amaze me what Joey Spin can do uh, from anywhere on the court. Yeah, that foul was on Bladen Huber, his first, team fifth. Spin at the line for the and one. Oh, just a little short. I'm uh, not used to seeing Joey Spin miss a free throw, Pete. Very rarely do you see Joey Spin miss a free throw. Aiden White back behind the three-point arc. Pass up to uh, Naninga at the volleyball line. Far side to Huber. Huber picks up his dribble, kind of trapped. Passes far corner and gets, gets the dish down underneath and uh, lays it over the backboard, sends it out of bounds. Number 21, and, uh, Jake Passion, and number 10, Bryce Rudisol in for the Comets. Colby Pugh will take the ball down the court. 2.18 to play in the half. Near side pass to Sam Smith. Into the paint to Jake Passion. Goes hard to the basket and gets fouled. Foul is on number 30, Carter Lewark, his third. Team six. Passion with the and one attempt. Three fouls this quickly into a game is going to put you in foul trouble. And uh, number zero, Carter Hudson coming in for Carter Luark. Aiden White facing off against Colby Pugh in the center circle. He drives, stops so fast he slid. Pass back outside to Bladen Huber. And ball gets thrown away. Huber throws a little bit above Hudson's head. Colby Pugh will bring the ball up for the Comets with uh, 150 to go in the first half. Passion near side sends it to Shane Lobb. Comets moving the ball around. Pugh will drive, loses control of it, and Smith dives on it. Good pass out to uh, Bryce Rudisol. How do you... How do you pass and look athletic laying on your shoulder on the basketball court? Uh, Sam Smith. <laughs> Jake Passion, another three-pointer. I noticed when uh, Sam Smith dove on that ball and uh, got that, Coach Davis jumped up, started clapping. I think that's what he's really looking for his team, to still play aggressive, uh, even though they are up by this commanding lead. Jumper from Christian Hughes is good for two. Kane Shanelob drives into the paint and gets his pocket picked. 
Kobe Pugh uh, returning the favor the other end on a shot attempt. 43 seconds left in the half. Oh, that was a little bit of a travel we got away with there, Mr. White. Well, I think Kane Shanelob may have gotten away with one on the other end. Eh. Oh, and foul whistled here. I think that might be on Jake Passion. And that is, in fact, on Jake Passion. That's his second, team sixth. Both, both teams looking to send their opponent into the bonus with, the, with any additional fouls. Like once again, though, 32 seconds left in the half. Ball into Huber, 30 seconds to play. Meninga, 25 seconds. Good trade-off defense there by the Comets. Not letting a, a simple screen set him up. 17 seconds, White into the paint. Pass outside. And uh, Hughes will put two more on the board. Eight seconds now. Pew across the timeline. Five seconds, he goes into the paint. Gets his pocket pick. Sam Smith able to attempt a two. Doesn't get it. And after two. Comet 60, Trojans 20. We'll be back with some first half stats here on RTC TV4. Of course, those seven timeouts that are up there on the board can definitely still cause that clock to stop. Comets do start with possession. And a flubbed pass to start the third quarter. One rare thing you see from Joey Spin is a bad pass like that. Especially right in front of the coaches, too. He'll have laps Monday. <laughs> All right, Aiden White versus Joey Spin. Near side pass here to Carter Lewark. And Sam Smith will tip it out of bounds. Lewark sitting on three fouls, so um, he's going to have to play a very clean half of basketball. Lewark into White. White taking advantage of a screen. Uh, Passion picks him up. Jumper from the elbow. Nothing but net. Bryce Rudisall near side to Jake Passion. Far pass. Clear across the whole playing field over to Joey Spin. Court. It's not a field. <laughs> been a while since uh, football season. Surprised you're still Yeah, you know, there. every now and again. Near side pass to Jake Passion. Passion to the elbow, back outside to Joey Spin. Passion for three, off the front of the rim. Huber from the post. And they're going to call a charge on him. Great job there by Jake Passion, keeping those feet planted. And just, what? This Sam Smith. Oh, well, you know, they all look alike. They don't look anything alike. Especially Sam and Jake. They're complete opposites almost. Passion for three in and out. All right, apologies to... To Sam. Comets and uh, the Trojans still playing really aggressive on both sides of the ball. Down to the post, Sam Smith into the paint, back outside. Jake Passion will drive in, dish it back out. Good defense play here being played by the Trojans. Jumper by Joey Spin off the mark. Comets have just kind of come out of the locker room a little off on their shots here, Pete. Three minutes gone here in the quarter. And we're going to have a blocking foul called here. Foul is on number five, Sam Smith. His third, team first here in the half. And Carter Lewark at the line for two. He went two for two, his first visit to the free throw line. Gets the shooter's roll on that one. 
Colby Pugh and Kane Shane Love check in for the Comets. Lewark now four for four from the free throw line. Spin, cross midcourt, near side pass to Zyder. Zyder dished down to the post. Ball back outside. Great ball movement by the Comets here. Trying to get a, an opening in that zone. Zyder for three, just a little shy. And with almost half of the quarter gone, the Comets have yet to put any fresh points on the board. Aiden White, nice pump fake on that layup. Unfortunately, it didn't drop for him. Kane Shanelob can't quite hold on to it as the ball goes out of the bounds, giving the Trojans the ball once again. Deep pass back to Naninga. Over to Lewark. And he just, uh, he was expecting Aiden White to zig and he zagged. I've got to say though, Pete, I'm a little surprised that Coach Davis hasn't called a timeout yet and just kind of regrouped. Rudisol hard to the hole. Puts the first points for the Comets on the board in this half after five minutes of play. And uh, West Central trying to get fat, fancy and doing a lob pass ahead. Too hard goes clear out of bounds at the other end of the court. Sam Smith back in for the Comets. Bryce Rudisill gets a break. Colby Pugh, cross midcourt with the ball. Far side pass to Joey Spin. Jumper no good, Sam Smith's put back no good. Three pointer in and out there for Bladen Huber. Colby Pugh, near side to Cade Zider. Down to the post, Sam Smith. He sends it back outside to Joey Spin. Jump stop. And pass to Sam Smith, no good. Trojans come up with that. Huber with the layup, and it's good. Two more points for the Trojans. Trojans outscoring the Comets this quarter, six to two. 150 left here in the third. Kane Shane Lob near side to Colby Pugh. Pugh drives baseline back outside to Shane Lob. I thought Shane Lob was going to pop a three there. Over to Talon Zyder in the far side. Back down to the post. Shane Lob from the paint. Shot no good. And the shooting woes continue for the Comets. Comets having a really tough time making any shot this half, this quarter so far. Three-pointer for Naninga off the mark. Pass over to Cade Zyder, nearly sails into the crowd. Funny part is, is it would have hit my daughters who aren't paying a bit of attention in the heads. Might have had to laugh about that, Pete. Zyder for three, just a little too hard. Pew out of nowhere grabbing that rebound. Can't quite keep a hold of it though. Passion coming in, back in. And uh, Talon Zyder giving his brother a break. 33 seconds left here in the third. Lewark down to the baseline. Picks it up, sends it back outside to Naninga. Three-pointer off the mark. Put back by Huber is good. 
rebound went right off of Towns Eider's back, right into the hand of the West Central Trojans there. Seven seconds here in the third. Pew, he'll drive in. Jump stop dish to Talon Zyder. Three pointer off the mark. And that'll end the third at the end of three. Comet 62, Trojans 28. We'll be back after a few words from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comet Basketball back, here on our gentlemen. Getting ready to start fourth quarter action here at Caston High School. Current score, now that the scoreboard uh, shut off, somebody kicked a plug, is uh, Caston 62, West Central 28. There they go, they got that back up and running. To be Trojans ball to start the uh, fourth quarter here with eight minutes to go in the ball game. Comets lead 62, 28. Both teams with only one foul in the third quarter, which is Really good, very clean second half so far. Only a couple players with three fouls, none with four, I don't believe. Uh, that is accurate, Pete. Aiden White in the center circle, facing off against Caleb Stinson. He's gonna, he's gonna get pushed. Looks like they're gonna say it's on the ground. Trying to figure out who the foul is on because the uh, referee indicated number two and we don't have a number two. We got a 22, a 21, we got a 12, and a 23. 21. 12. Oh. Fair enough. Kobe Pugh, his first, team second. Deep inbound to uh, Lewark. Pass off to Aiden White. White into the paint. Two point bucket in and out. Lewark gets that rebound, gets fouled on the putback. Foul on Talon Zider, his first, team third. First shot. Off the front of the rim, that is the first free throw that Carter Lewark has missed this evening. And we've got number 20, Evan Howard, coming in for the Comets. Shooters roll in that second free throw, though. West Central's coach not happy about the fact that they had left Caleb Stinson wide open. Kobe Pugh did get his pocket picked. Talon Zyder returns a favor at the other end, gets fouled hard. Fouls on number 21, Christian Hughes, his first, team second. Well, Pugh knows now that he can't take his eyes off of Aiden White. Caleb Stinson, back over here near side to Kobe Pugh. Evan Howard in the corner. Down to Kane Shanelob at the post. Shot way off the mark there for Shanelob. Colin Zyder gets the steal. Sends it down to Caleb Stenson who gives it to Kane Shanelob who misses the layup there. Just not quite getting it high enough. Did Shanelob shrink a couple inches? I'm not used to seeing anything like that. Christian Hughes putting another two points on the board for the Trojans. Comets lead by 31. Down to the post to Shane Lob again. He dishes it back outside. Caleb Stinson puts up a three, a little off the mark. I'm really kind of surprised that Shane Lob didn't get called for all over the back there. Talon Zyder steals it. Zyder with three steals and four possessions there for against West Central. Colby Pugh passed across to Talon Zyder. 5.45 remains here in the ball game. Back over here to Colby Pugh. Gets the, gets the ball stolen by Aiden White, but White sends it out of bounds. Jackson Rentschler in for the Comets. Number 13.
And inbound off of Rensselaer's foot. White bringing the ball up for the Trojans. In the center circle. Five minutes to go in the game. Stinson comes out to meet him. Pass over here to Naninga on the near side. Naninga, uh, that was a travel or something. Nothing called on that. Howard bringing the ball up. Pass to Shane Lobb. Then to Zyder. Zyder over to Stinson. Stinson drives in, passes outside to Zyder. Zyder wide open three off the mark. Shane Lobb attempts to save it and sends it out of bounds in a different direction. Connor oh. Summers checks in. Four twenty to go in the fourth quarter. White facing off against Stinson. Dishes it down to the post to Huber. Huber puts it up and drops in for two. Zyder bringing the ball across the timeline. Met by uh, Hughes. Howard over to uh, Summers. Summers to uh, Stinson. Summers for three. Doesn't quite fall. Zyder with the rebound, puts it up and uh, makes it. Giving the comments that 31 point lead once again. White drives in, pass out to Huber. Huber drives baseline, loses control of it. Pass to Connor Summers. Long cross court pass to Caleb Stinson. Oh, in and out for Stinson on his shot. West Central coming away with the rebound. Huber, leaner off the glass. Three minutes to go, 64-35. Summers, another three-point attempt. Just a little bit too hard. West Central with that rebound, White. Puts it in for two. Talon Zyder into the corner to Stinson. Stinson for three and drains it. 2.30 to go in the game. Trojan slowing it down a little bit. Got a foul here. Caleb Stinson picking up his second foul. Team fourth. 25, 35, 5, 20, and 1 coming in for the uh, Trojans. You know, I don't have a name for number 35 there, Pete, since uh, there's not a 35 on their roster. That's fine. 146 to play. Salazar to uh, Miller. Miller in trouble. Wow. And one. Foul there on 33, Caleb Stinson, his third. Team fifth. Miller and one off the mark. Evan Howard passed it. Uh, Connor Summers into the corner, Talon Zyder. Caleb Stinson drives into the paint with it. Gets fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Foul here on number 25, Zachary Baining. They're going to call it on the floor. Minute 20 to go. Zyder looking for that inbound. Into Rensler. Sends it outside to Howard. Stinson. Zyder. Zyder back to Stinson. Stinson for three. Drains it. One minute to play. And a 31 point game right now. And we're going to have a jump ball. 
Jump ball goes to the Comets. Pete, was that the first jump ball of this game? I want to say it was. Because we had that one that I thought was going to be a jump ball. West Central burned a timeout. 30 seconds. Comet's probably going to look to just end the game here. That would be my guess. West Central still coming out. Nose guard. Over to Evan Howard. Talon Zider. 11 seconds. Caleb Stinson. Stinson just dribbling the ball. Pass to Connor Summers. Summers to Howard. Two seconds. One, and there's your game. At the end of four, Comet 70, Trojans 39. We're going to tally up some stats. We'll be back uh, after these words from our sponsor. This is Casting Commons Basketball on RTC TV. 